Hello, today I'm looking at reconditioning the Tomos A3 crankshaft. This is uh, the crank webs and the shaft itself. You can see there's quite a bit of rust on here. The uh, shaft itself is straight on both sides. There's uh, not much wear. There's quite a bit of rust. The threading is, is pretty rusty on this side. And there's a little bit of uh, damage done to the very end of this shaft here. It's a little bit up, which happens with uh, very well used crankshafts in which I, I can think that this one probably was. Again here the hole for the crank journal itself uh, is not excessively out of round so this is a, a, a good candidate for reconditioning here. You can see here the crank pin doesn't have any, any, uh, any significant damage to it. The color is black. The color is different in this pin than the normal stainless steel silver color that you see and you see but you see the similar discoloration here from the roller bearings making contact with the pin. The connecting rod itself uh, as you can see is the original bushing style connecting rod here on the small end and for those of you who are nostalgic for these uh, for these bushings and want to get those replaced I have new old stock pook bushings that I can press in and ream out with the factory tools but uh, I'm not really that interested in reusing this particular connecting rod here. What I plan on doing is fixing up the rust here and pressing in this Rito connecting rod that I have a supply of. And this one is specifically for the Tomo, so you can see it's got the, uh, it's a complete kit with the connecting rod, bearings, pin, and this one uh, has the roller bearing instead of a bushing on the small end. So I'm going to do that. Uh, the job's going to be a little bit bigger and take longer since it has all this rust here that I have to clean up, but I'm going to go ahead and do that, press the connecting rod in, true it up on the truing stand, and come back for a brief follow-up again. Okay, so here's the finished Tomos, and I misspoke earlier when I called this an A3 crankshaft. It's actually an A35 crankshaft, but at any rate, you can see here that the rust has uh, been cleaned up pretty well. And you can see the web surfaces there, and uh, on that side as well. There's a little bit of pitting left uh, both on the crank webs and on the shaft itself, but that really shouldn't be much of a problem at all. Uh, the Rito connecting rod has been pressed in. I like the Rito product for two reasons. Uh, one is that uh, Rito makes every one of their connecting rods to be a high performance replacement. And two, because they don't sacrifice anything on bearing quality. They use the highest quality bearings in the world. They use either INA bearings or IKO bearings. INA is German and IKO is Japanese and they are the tier one producers of connecting rod bearings in the world. Um, at any rate, that uh, connecting rod has been pressed in. The uh, proper care has been taken to ensure proper spacing between the webs here and you know, I'll give this uh, connecting rod a whirl again and you can see that it spins very freely again. I put that after that, after all of that, I put it on the truing stand, and again, like the uh, Gorelli I did earlier, the transmission side was uh, just dead on. There was less than a thousandth of an inch deflection in the, ne in the needle. The uh, Magneto side had about two and a half thousandths of an inch deflection, and again, a whack with a hammer, and that trued that side up to within a thousandth. So uh, this crankshaft is good to go, and that's all I've got. Thanks for watching.